Thank you. I'm just so thankful for being here. Today's my first ever live event of yours. Somebody asked me next, when I was sitting there, uh, have you been to the show yesterday? Then I said, actually, I just saw her yesterday on YouTube. So, so my question is, actually, um, my life is amazing. So I've been like uh, focusing on uh, so many other things, like you know, healing and all that stuff. Everything happens naturally. But uh, my question is to add to somebody who was here from McKinney. So how do I make a billion dollars? By wanting it and believing it. Just the way you said billion made it sound unlikely. <laughs> made it sound too amazing to even consider. It was like the difference between knowing and belief. How can I make a billion dollars? <laughs> Sounded a little like that. Did it feel like that? Not really. It's like I, I see the visions of it, like, you know, everything happening and everything aligning. But I think I'm in a rush to, like, you know, hit that number. Let us give you some things that will help you here. We're just going to make a series of statements and don't try to memorize them. Just take them in. Let them wash over you. One who's connected to this stream of non-physical consciousness is more powerful than millions who aren't. You can't even stack up those comparisons in any meaningful way. Esther can't even find accurate words to describe the differences in the power and therefore the productivity of that energy stream in comparison with the action and the way most people are approaching life. It's just really, really big. Through your life experience, even before you got here, you were streaming energy and you've streamed equivalency of billions and billions and billions and billions of, if you want to call them dollars, you could call them vibrational credits into your vortex energy. It's like, what would you pay? How would someone accurately calculate it and charge it? and get it from you how do you pay for your fair share of the sunlight that you personally falls on your body every year as you divide the value of that up by the billions on your planet how do you calculate that of course it's a ridiculous question there's no point in calculating it because there's nobody asking you to pay it but still it is an energy that comes to you that is separate and apart from money that is of enormous value to you we're just trying to get your thoughts to loosen up just a little bit to begin to explore vibration and feel about it like you do about money resources resource money resource clarity resource energy resource 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 so now we want to throw a couple of statements in it's as easy to create a castle as a button because the process is the same want it and don't doubt it well the button obvious want a button don't want your pants to fall down no point in doubting it there's buttons everywhere seems like a silly question castle button castles might seem more like the billion dollar thing harder to find and harder to acquire but they are not the point that we want to express in a way that you can take it in is that if this time and space has the wherewithal to inspire within you a desire then it's in the vortex and it's a done deal therefore this time and space has the inspired impulses and wherewithal to deliver the goods the key is to not demand it to be given to you instantaneously although it could but the key is to allow yourself to let it come here are the key words in perfect accordance with your ability to allow it in so it isn't the bigness or the smallness of the request it's the openness or closedness of your willingness to allow it or expect it so how do you expect big things well by expecting smaller things and acknowledging them but the thing is about all the things that you consider small or that you take for granted like the sunlight you don't have any natural resistance to them and so as they come they come easily and therefore you don't know you're doing it because you associate we're not just saying you we're saying most humans associate receiving with struggle and it's the opposite the struggle makes it harder and slows it down it's the absence of the struggle that lets it in 
So if we can convince you that that abundance exists and we can help you find some way of talking about it and feeling about it that doesn't block it from you letting it in it's like it's raining down around you but you've got an umbrella up because you've been taught by others some of them are very well-meaning and some of them are very controlling but there are a lot of people that need you to believe that you need to work for them in order to have money or that you need to struggle in order to have money and none of that is true you just have to want it and believe it that's all want it and believe it that's all Wayne Dyer wrote a book when you believe it you'll see it and of course he was playing with the idea that people say well I'll believe that when I see it and he says you'll see it when you believe it well I'll believe it when I see it well you gotta believe it before you see it with your physical senses you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch but that's after it's manifested that doesn't do you any good that's after it's manifested you got to feel it in the vortex you got to know the difference between happiness and sadness and love and hate you got to pay attention to the way your thoughts feel and you got to practice being in the receiving mode the receiving mode the receiving mode and when you're in the receiving mode we promise you everything that's in your vortex and there's a whole lot there because you've been putting it there for a long long time when you're in the receiving mode what's in your vortex flows into your experience and it's so delicious to watch the cleverness of the universe's ability to inspire you to the thoughts and the actions and the impulses that help you to enjoy it as it is unfolding this thought leads to this and this thought leads to this and this thought leads to that rendezvous and that thought leads to that rendezvous and that thought leads to that and that thought leads to that and all of it's feeling good along the way it's not desert and thirsty and desert and thirsty and desert and thirsty and desert and thirsty and oasis you can't have an unhappy journey on your way to a happy ending it doesn't go like that it's happy 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 you see okay uh, how do you explain like you know so you hit a number like you know maybe a million two million five million whatever and then you hit there and then you're looking for the next number and then suddenly it just drops back down to whatever tens of thousands I mean I'm just talking like dollar values because I guess everybody can associate themselves with money as the well this is the easiest way to explain this we are not ever suggesting that there is not compensation for action you told enough of something from one place to another somebody's going to pay you for it and so people have become pretty efficient in their ability to gather through their actions but we're talking about this exponential what you want to call quantum leap we're talking about accessing this energy that creates worlds whether you're talking about a 10,000 or a million it's all mediocrity in comparison with what's accessible through your vortex so the way we would explain it is that someone was more hopeful and they allowed the million in and then they got possessive of it and let it get away when people get guarded you're not guarded about a million dollars before you have it and so in their free abandon they weren't guarded about anything they just found something that was fun to do and in their attention to it often it's just falling in love will do it for you then they began letting in what they hadn't let in for a while and once they let it in then sometimes they're influenced by others hey you better watch out for that and then they get guarded and then it doesn't last everything can be explained by the thought that a person is thinking and indicated by the way that they feel as they are thinking the thought no exceptions whatsoever no exceptions do you believe us when we say that if this time and place has inspired you to a desire then it can deliver it if you really believe that but then there's another factor how is your belief affected well your belief is affected in part by what others say around you you might believe something until your mother reminds you of what she's always believed and when she reminds you of what she's always believed your belief may waver for a moment you see what we're getting at or you may believe that it's possible but not for you because you feel unworthy but you don't have to consider all of that you know we can make this really complicated because there's this in the vortex and there's all these routes to it and your inner being knows what they all are and you just got to be in the right mood at the right time and you can just go crazy trying to do that or you can just decide I'm going to be as happy as I can be as often as I can that's it I'm just going to be as happy as I can be as often as I can 
which means when I'm complaining about somebody and I feel that tug in my stomach I'm gonna stop it and I'm gonna say my inner being has a different opinion of that and me complaining about that person is depriving me of my billions what it's not on the same subject I wasn't complaining about money I was complaining about his dog pooping in my front yard <laughs> doesn't matter doesn't matter what your reason for pinching yourself off from the well-being that is all lined up for you just like it doesn't matter which happy stick you pull out that puts you in a state of allowing find something to be happy about as often as you can and watch everything that you put into your vortex come into your experience yeah. Yeah. and don't try to explain nothing to nobody because <laughs> if they're not up to speed with you they'll say but remember when you did that remember when you did that remember when you did that and it's not very long before you're not feeling all that frisky <laughs> enough yes thank you thank really you so much really good <laughs> really good Yeah.